Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi, Hamama City, Japan. Here in this uh, video, I will show you what uh, Hiroshi Hayashi's Nazca line is. Uh, taking an example in Japan. And uh, first, I take you to Daishenryo Mount, Osaka, Japan, the largest mount in the world, or in the largest tomb in the world. Uh, this is Daishenryo, Osaka, Japan. And from uh, Daishenryo, I draw line to uh, East Shrine, Naiku. There are two uh, shrines. One is uh, Naiku and another one is Geku. And this line comes from Daisenryo to up to Naiku. And also this is a line from uh, Daisenryo to Geku. Right? And the lower line uh, is be between Daisenryo and uh, Naiku. And the upper line uh, shows the line between Daisenryo and uh, Geku. And uh, Hashihaka Mount is it just between them. And from Hashihaka Mount up to Nurse, uh, 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 point, uh, uh, degrees north line. And on the way, you can see Todaiji Temple and Mount Hiei, most one of the most celebrated mountains in Japan. And this is Todaiji line, and the line on the, on the right side of the Todaiji line is a line from Hashihaka to Hiei. And this is Mount Hiei. Uh, this is a summit, but if he, Mount, uh, he, Mount Hiei is a very uh, uh, very hard to point, uh, find at the point. Anyway, from Mount Point Hie on Gugurus, I draw a line from uh, Daisendio. You can see the line uh, from Tie, or as a matter of fact, Serpent Mount, uh, right cross, uh, crosses right in the middle of the uh, Daisendio, as you see here now, right? And uh, also, I draw a line uh, from uh, Naiku uh, at the angle of 270.0 degrees to the west. Shop, and you can find Okinoshima Island, one one of the most celebrated. No one can go to this island uh, because of the religious reason. Anyway, the area is about 3.454 kilometers, and from uh, uh, Okinoshima to Daisaifu Temago in Kyushu, also a very important uh, temple or shrine in Japan. Uh, and Daisaifu Temago Shrine, the error is. Uh, uh, one uh, one point three one point three kilometers only three one point three kilometers. Does I from does I have to uh, I draw line to Usa Shrine and uh, Usa Shrine. This is Usa Shrine. And this line from from Dazaifu and Usa Shrine. And Dazaifu, Usa, and Saitobara are the three point uh, for argument between where Himikos uh, lived. Anyway, the uh, just keep these uh, uh, distance and the angles. From uh, Usa to the left, uh, 270.0 degrees sharp to the west. Uh, and this is the side of our mound. There are many uh, mounds, uh, two mounds inside of our So I took up, I took up uh, the one which is the biggest, the largest. And in the side of our is the mound here. And, uh, and 270.0 degrees west and 100, uh, sorry, 180 uh, degrees to the south. And the uh, distance between them is 78 kilometers and uh, and 156 kilometers the error is only 260 meters just remember it, 260 meters right and uh, Takahashiwa shrine also one of the most uh, important shrine for uh, Amaterasu and from Takahashiwa shrine I draw line up to uh, Ena where Amaterasu was born and raised up Ena Ena means a sort of a uh, uh, Old language anyway. Line from Takachiho to Ena line is here, right? And that center just a bit down there, right? You can see down there. The error is about 2.03 kilometers. Uh, so you say it's just a big error or a small error, up to you anyway. And from Saito Baru to Ise, uh, sorry, uh, Izumo Shrine, Taish, Izumo Taisha Shrine, uh, so uh, one of the uh, two biggest or uh, most celebrated uh, shrines in Japan. And from Izumo to uh, Ise Shrine, the distance is uh, 383 kilometers, and the, and the error is uh, just, uh, don't be surprised, only 140 de 40 meters. Meters, okay? 140 meters. The error is 140 meters. And from Ise Shrine to up to uh, Suwa Taisha or Suwa Shrine Shimosha, and the, and on the between them you can see Mount Ena. And this line comes from uh, Izumo Taisha, and Suwa Taisha is at right. So front approach of the Suwa Taisha shows the direction very, very collectively or sharply to Izumo Taisha. And this is the line between uh, Saitobaru to Nazca line. 
And on the, on the way, you can see Geku and Ise Shrine Naiku is here. And very strangely, you can find Futami Koshitama Shrine. Okay, I will show why it is strange. Have a look at this uh, shrine, right? The line on the rooftop shows the reaction to Nashka. Are these all coincidences? No. We have to weave some kind of a logical theory out of this fact. That is ecology, ecology. Or I have to, we have to explain why they are so. So this is the end of the story, and whole world have been connected with a very strange lines and calculated very mathematically. Uh, and uh, you see this fact in my line theory. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi, Hamama City, Japan, God's Homeland, Mount Naurohoe, New Zealand. Uh, before I talk about the mystery of Naurohoe, I'd like, like you to know that uh, people have got a tendency to think, unless it is created by aliens with evidence, uh, it is created by humans, but it is wrong. We say, unless it is uh, proved to be created uh, proved to be created by humans, uh, it is created by aliens. This is my pet theory. And there is uh, some reason why Naruho is a sort of a homeland for gas. Uh, one reason is that it is, uh, point from, uh, it is pointed from uh, Sagafune Rock in Japan. And the video about this is will be followed after uh, this video. And uh, please watch. This is a uh, roughly I explain about this. Roughly, this is a very uh, Stonehenge and South Pole here, and uh, the middle is the North Pole, and Nagaruhore is here in New Zealand. I will explain about it in the following video. Please watch. Uh, yes, uh, please watch this uh, video. Two hundred, I think. Uh, anyway, this is Daisenryo Mount Sakai, Osaka, Japan, and uh, from. Uh, Daisendo, I draw a line toward uh, east to, uh, at the uh, angle of 270.0 uh, degrees. The line will come to cross point China, as I have explained uh, many times in the past. This is a uh, cross point China, and this is sort of a datum point for uh, Asia, in Asia, uh, including Korea, China, and Japan. And this line will come go to Mount Naguruhoe in New Zealand, and the, this line, upper line, will go to a uh, line to uh, Serpent Mount. Uh, and the angle between them is like this, and uh, 30, point, 30 degrees, 150 degrees, and 200 point, uh, degrees. And between them, the angle is uh, just 200, 120 degrees. That this indicates that uh, uh, um, the Zendo sh uh, shows a direction to uh, Naurohoe, New Zealand. And uh, here is the and this uh, this line go to Naurohoe. This is the line. And uh, I draw a line between them. And also I, I, another line is here. This is the Naurohoe, right? And so the Nagahori is, is uh, sort of on the line from uh, Daisendo at the angle of 120, and this is Nagahori, uh, and uh, one of the most uh, sort of uh, mysterious uh, or misty or uh, mysterious mountain area uh, in the in South Pacific. A beautiful volcano. And this is uh, Mount Nagahori, and uh, there must be something here, and there are more reasons why I think so, and I'll show you the reason why I think Nagarhor is a sort of place for gas homeland. I draw a line from Nagarhor to Nazca, and you can find the same line in Nazca. This is the line from uh, Nagarhor, New Zealand. So, again, I'll try. I'll show you more, right? So. Uh, remember that this uh, uh, line also go to Ulawun, Mount Ulawun, uh, one of the most important or uh, sort of ice, uh, uh, mountain in uh, Papua New Guinea. Anyway, another uh, this is a platform that shows the uh, uh, direction to Naurohoe, New Zealand. Okay.
And here you can see a very uh, strange landmark. They say, I call you say, this is a triangle. This is not a triangle. This is a mountain, all right? Have a look. This is a mountain. So this is a landmark which shows the direction to Naohoe and together with uh, Wulaung, Mount Wulaung. This uh, platform is very important for aliens. And uh, also, why, you may ask me, why Sapit Mound? I will give you the answer. Okay, I draw line again from Daisendio to this is Daisendio and uh, Mount Nagruhore, New Zealand, and uh, I draw line like this. And now, from uh, also from um, Uluru, Australia, Yazrock up to Teoriwakan. Uh, Uluru and Teoriwakan are sort of a, also major footfalls in uh, so, uh, South uh, Hemisphere. Anyway, cross point South Pacific is here, and line. To a sound man, serpent man. Okay, now you will see why serpent man is so important, right? Okay, this line will come to USA now, North America. In North America, serpent man is here, right? So just uh, watch very carefully, right? And this is serpent man and Kahokia Mount here on the way, just on the way, just on the way, no errors at all, no errors. Remember? And Bryce Integralist. These three are on the same line and then up to Washington, D.C. Bryce Integralist. And this is Kahokia Mount in USA. And this is very similar to uh, 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 Dicendio Mount. So, uh, they are, I think, uh, I'm, I'm sure, I'm convinced that these are sort of created by aliens in the same concept. Okay? Up to this one is Kahokia Mount and this one is uh, Daisendio Mount. Uh, the model of the Daisendio Mount, uh, as a matter of fact. Anyway, this is uh, Kahokia Mount. Now you see Kahokia Mount, okay, is here on the line from uh, Southern uh, South Pacific uh, Cross Point. Now, why Serpent Mount? Please watch vid my video number 719. Then you will know uh, much much more about uh, Serpent Mount. And also about uh, Shakafune Ishi Rock. I will uh, talk about this. Uh, um, the secret of the Saka finish in the following video, it's a, which is very long, but please be patient, and then you will know the secret of Saka Fune Ishi of completely everything. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi speaking. This is a video number 276, but in, in which I like to explain about the mystery of the Kansai area, including uh, Osaka, Nara, and uh, Kyoto. And this is a story about it. I say in this video, all these cities are planned by, were pl planned by aliens in ancient times. And I'll explain it with evidence. Thank you very much. And this is uh, me with my wife and my friend, Australian friend of mine, in uh, Kiyomi's temple uh, yesterday on uh, April the 20th, 2013. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have to explain about three lines. First of all, uh, which is uh, which are very important lines for, uh, for Japan uh, in Japanese. 皆さん最初に三本の線についての説明をしておきます。これの線がですね、テオティワカンとプレイヤービヘアをつないだ線です。当初あのエイリアンたちはね、テオティワカンとあのアンコールワットを使っつないだ線を使ってましたんですけども、まあ、多少あの地球が大円球体であるということもありまして、やがてあのテオあプレハフィヒアを主に使うようになりました。でこの斜めの線、左上からの線は北極と鹿児島のあ桜島をつないだ線です。でこの交点をクロスポイントジャパンって言うんですけど、クロスポイントジャパンは2つできるんですね。1つはあの北極とイースポールをつないだ線ですね。まあ、しかし日本の場合はあの鹿児島とその北極をつないだ線がの交点がクロスポイントジャパンになります。交換基準点となりまして、まあ、あの北極からのラインに対して90、90に割って、さらに60、30に割って赤い線ができます。この赤い線が日本への基準線となります。この赤い線はですね、まっすぐと高野山。
を横切ります。ただ、高野山と言いましても、この,あの当初からあの混合無事があったわけではありません。場所が決まってたということなんですね。まあ、あるいはあのその場所に高野山をあの混合無事を作ったということになるわけです。では、今日の話を始めますが、まず最初に皆さん、この事実を知ってください。あの忍徳領がありますね。まあ、忍徳領って忍徳伝統とは全く関係ないわけでして、これ大仙領というのは正しいわけです。この大仙領というのはですね、まっすぐとこの線はですね、比叡山をの山頂を目指します。比叡山といってもあの現在の,あの寺多いわけじゃないんですね。あ,のあくまでも比叡山という山がここからの,あの、まあ、この辺りで最高峰の山になるんでしょうかね。あのこの比叡山を目指すわけです。延,延暦寺でありません。延暦寺はずっと後になってできました。あのというのはその。当然ですね、大占領ができたとき、まだ比叡山はなかったわけですから。で、これが比叡山の頂点で、比叡山ができたのは800年ちょっと前ですね、西暦。<笑>で、この比叡山と橋墓,墓古墳を結びます。橋墓古墳というのは、まあ、卑弥呼の,あの墓ではないかと言われております。この角度がですね、180.02 なんですね。全くの、真、まあ、南を向いているということなんですよ。どうしてこんなことができたか、全くこれも謎ですね。どうやってこの天文学的にですね、あの位置を決めたかということで、大仙領とこの橋墓古墳を結びますと、これがまっすぐと、まあ、伊勢神宮へと行くわけです。内宮ですね。で逆に言いますと、内宮の,あの本殿の屋根と、あの人徳領のあ大仙領の中心をつなぎますとその,中間その途中に橋墓古墳があるということです。で東大寺はこの仁徳領とあの橋墓古墳を結んだ直線上にありますね。誤差は70メートルだったと思います。東大寺における誤差がですね、70メートルです。でこういう形ができるわけです。でこの線がですね、先ほど言いましたようにプレアビヒアとテオティワカンを結んだ線です。でこ,こ,でこ,こ,にこの線がですねまっすぐと今度は比叡山の延暦寺を横切るわけですね。そして先で水上山とも横切ります。後で説明します。で今度は縦のよ斜め線のですね左の上からの線はこれは先ほど言いましたクロスポイトジャパンから正確に 60.00 でつないできた線ですけどもこれは高野山を直撃します。高野山はそういう非常にこうなっていますか。あのーまあそういう不思議な位置にあるということですね。要するに、ここにこういった形ができてくるわけです。で、そこで、まあ、高野山と、あの、伊勢神宮、そして、あの、もう結びますね。で、不要な線を消します。そして、あの、緑の線と、あの、ピンクの線が右の方にできましたね。左の方に。ここをクロスポイント、まあ、関西、近畿、どうしてもいいんですけど、つなぎます。で、こうして黄色い線でつなぎますね。で、この黄色い線はまっすぐと、もう変状取られていくんですよ。これまた不思議なところでしてね。不思議というか、まあ、計画的に作られてたんでしょうね。ここにきれいな十字架ができます。中央に八田で八田山があります。八田山というのはですね、あのー、三蔵法師のリバンディ氏が開いた改装した寺で、法隆寺に次いで古い寺ですね。そしてその、この八田,田寺の,あの参道はまっすぐと塔の長安へと向かいます。まあ、それはともかくも、あのー、こうした形がここにできるということですね。比叡山延暦寺はここにあり、そして、えー、水上山が、あのその、桜島とあの比叡山延暦寺、そしてテオティワカンへの途中のあ,あるということです。誤差は100メートル前後だったと思います。まあ、ほとんどないと思いますね。この線はまっすぐとテオティワカンへと向かうわけです。こういうふうにあ、まあ、日本という位置はですね、日本という位置はこのように計画されているということなんです。この図形を頭の中に少し入れておいてください。これからあのこの説明をこれからゆっくりとしたいと思います。実にこうなってますか、あの不思議なと言いますか。あの不思議というか、まあ、計画的にエリアによって計画されたと考えれば何でもないわけですけれども、ではご覧ください。ありがとうございます。